Hey there, what is going on guys? Kirby here and today I have five facts about the nether in this things you didn't know about Minecraft but you probably actually did know series. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and touch that like button right now so you do not forget and go grab your cat now so you guys can watch the video together. Alrighty, let's get started. Did you know that when you enter the nether in single player, the rest of the world will just stop. It'll just just freeze behind you. <laughs> well, that's kind of how it works. So when you are playing in single player and you enter the nether portal, the overworld will freeze. The reason why this happens is because the chunks are actually loading and unloading behind you. And well, that's how the overworld freezes. Have you ever wondered where the idea for the nether actually came from? Well, you'd probably think it's hell, but it's, it's actually not. That's actually not true. The idea for the nether came from a transportation method from a novel by Robert Johnson called The Wheel of Time. In this novel, the transportation system called The Ways allowed people to travel a huge amount of distance in just a few days rather than, you know, like a few weeks or a month. The Ways has a lot of danger involved while traveling there so like the ways the nether is a dangerous place and the nether allows you to cut down travel time in the game so there is a lot of similarities between the two so everybody always wants to know what the best way to get xp is in minecraft i'm sure you've tried out skeleton farms or zombie farms and well they actually don't drop nearly as much xp as a blaze does that's right, a blaze actually drops the most XP out of any of the mobs. Well, with the exception of, you know, mob bosses, of course. The Zender Dragons drop a lot of XP. The blaze actually drops 10 XP per kill. So that's a lot of experience. Plus, you get those wonderful blaze rods when you kill the blaze too. So that's just a, that's just a great mob to kill. The blaze are great to kill. They are. Okay. <laughs> So I've already stated that the idea for the nether came from a novel by Robert Johnson. Well, what about the name for the nether? It's nothing like the ways. Well, the nether's name came from the word ether, which means the upper regions of air beyond the clouds or a simpler definition, nowhere known. And then they just added an N, I guess. <laughs> It could also be associated to the mythical location called the Netherworld. And that mythical location is actually a place where, you know, evil people or evil creatures would often go in these mythical stories. When you are in the Nether and you try to use water, well, you know, you actually can't use water. In the Nether, when you try to place water, a bucket of water, it actually evaporates. But that isn't what this fact is about. It's actually kind of refuting that fact, I guess you could say. You can actually use a bucket of water in the nether, but only with the cauldron. So if you click on the cauldron with a water bucket in the nether, it actually works. <laughs> so that is the one way that water will not evaporate in the nether. And you can use make use it for potions or potions or potions. Yeah, you, you can use the cauldron's water for potions, I guess. So those are the five facts that I have to share with you guys today. Let me know what you want me to cover next. I want to make this into a weekly series, a five facts video every week. So let me know of any suggestions that you may have. If you didn't grab your cat, make sure to actually share this video with them now. Or you can share it with your friends. <laughs> Whatever you want to share it with, it doesn't matter to me. And uh, that's actually going to do for me, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.